Congratulations, you're looking into taking a listing. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and set up a template for listings. And this will make it super easy next time you have a listing appointment to go ahead and get the paperwork done. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. I'm here at AHS Realty Pros in Concord. And we offer a great commission split at 100% with no monthly fees. Definitely uh, let us know if you have any questions and how we can help your business grow, whether you're a solo operator or you got a team of 20. Thanks. And besides our commission splits, we have no monthly fees, which is great. And here is our office. There's no desk fees. You could use any desk you like. And so let us know if we can be of any help. Hello and welcome to AHS. My name is Adam Baragzai with AHS Realty Pros in Concord. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily go ahead and get listings with uh, less work. And you're going to be able to fly through a listing agreement a lot easier using a template. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to car.org. And when you go to car.org, you're going to go right here where it says sign in. And you want to use your login credentials and hit the little sign in button right here. And now you want to go ahead and access the zip forms library by clicking on this. You want to go ahead and hit continue. And what we want to do is click on templates. And in today's video, we're going to create a template for listings. So you, in the end of the day, you'll just need two templates, one for listings, one for offers. So we're going to hit the little plus icon right here. We're going to go to new listing. And we're going to call this listing 2020. It's going to be residential. And you want to go ahead and choose the middle option right here. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and hit the all forms button right here. Make sure you're under the all libraries category. And you want to choose the cover sheet. The cover sheet is the easiest and best way to go ahead and spread information from your transaction to every single piece of paper uh, or document. And we're gonna also choose a couple of different forms that we're gonna need in here. The other one that we'll need is gonna be a RLA, or a residential listing agreement. The, the top one is normally gonna be your best choice as it's normally the newest, the exclusive. We're also going to add in the SPQ, which is the seller property questionnaire, as well as the TDS or the transfer uh, disclosure statement. We're going to choose AVID or Asian Visual. Inspe uh, dis inspection disclosure. SELM, in case the property is not ready uh, until it's ready to be, be put on the market. DIA, which stands for Disclosure Information Advisory. And in case the property is in some sort of entity, or a corporation, you're going to need a form called a RCSD S. So this one right here is for buyers. So you want to go ahead and choose the, the one for sellers. And this one right here is the right form for sellers. 
and a lot of properties are actually already in trust as well and I'll show you guys how to look that up on future videos and I'll have links below in the video on how to submit offers and how to look up tax information as well so we're gonna go to this right here the trust advisory and now we have everything set up and we can easily go ahead and get a listing and put it on here and go to an appointment so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to fill out the cover sheet and which information is super important so for this particular transaction I'm gonna scroll down to right here where it says seller and to make it easier for myself to find in the future I'm gonna put seller one check off this little box right here and I'm also going to put seller two. And I'm going to keep scrolling down to where it says sellers brokerage information. I'm going to go ahead and type in all home sold realty pros address. And if you get a direct hit on the address, you normally have the last four of the zip code pop up. In our situation, we're gonna to have to go ahead and put in our suite number, which is 1500. We're also gonna go ahead and type in our office DRE number, which is gonna be 01501007. You wanna go ahead and type in your agent DRE license number right here. I type in my phone number here. And if you want to put it in the fax number, you're definitely welcome to do that. The rest of the information will be left blank, and we're going to hit save. Now, when I have a listing, I can easily come in here and fill out the information a lot easier without having to do it one by one. But the best way to actually get information over to here is through a cover sheet. So if we update the cover sheet and we go instead of seller one, we say it's John Smith. This information will automatically be sent over to the form. So John Smith is already on here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit seller, seller. And you can leave the property address blank for the time being until you're ready to actually take a listing which I'll show you how to do on another video. And if there's any kind of office terms that you guys normally include, uh, you're welcome to go ahead and put it into your template here. If it's customary in your market to maybe do any kind of inspections, maybe you want to go ahead and fill those in. In our market currently, we do not do inspections prior to going into escrow. And if you have any uh, special language that you use in here, you're welcome to go ahead and do it. And this is pretty much going to be it. It's going to be this easy to go ahead and get a listing. And you can always change the seller's information here. So I want to show you guys really quick how this is going to make it easier for you to 
get a listing next time you have an appointment so we're just going to go to dashboards now we're going to go to the little plus icon here and we're going to go to new listing and we're going to call this 123 main street in concord just as an example and it's a residential listing and i'm going to go ahead and apply that listing 2020 template that we made earlier all those forms that we popped in earlier are already here the best part about this is if i have an appointment and i have a seller for this property and the seller's name is going to be Jan Smith this is 123 Main Street We're going to actually scroll down over here it's save hit back go to my listing agreement I would be able to just check that off right there And if I'm going to get this signed in person, I can date it there. But I can show you how to send this over on digital ink next time, which is free to use. I would put today's date. And I'm going to put this as the APN number, just as an example here. County is going to be Contra Costa. Nine four five two zero. Dollar amount is going to be five hundred and eighty thousand. Compensation. If you had a predetermined uh, commission uh, amount or percentage, you can definitely go ahead and fill that in here. And once I hit save, I could go ahead and print this out with a few other forms, if needed. Um, and like the seller to exclude the property from the MLS in case it needs to have pictures or needs a little work around the property. I can go in there with these two pieces of paper and go get this signed and uh, pretty much have a, a coming soon sign in the yard in the coming days. And if you have any questions about AHS or need help with anything, feel free to reach out to us. My name again is Adam Barakzai with AHS Realty Pros and have a fantastic day.